potential for achieving full human potential developing an equitable and just society and promoting national development providing universal access to quality education is the key to india's continued ascent and leadership on the global stage in terms of economic growth social justice and equality scientific advancement national integration and cultural preservation a good education institution is one in which every student feels welcomed and cared for where a safe and stimulating learning environment exists where a wide range of learning experiences are offered and where good physical infrastructure and appropriate resources conducive to learning are available to all students the national education policy 2020 is the first education policy of the 21st century and aims to address the many growing developmental imperatives of our country this policy proposes the revision and revamping of all aspects of the education structure including its regulation and governance to create a new system that is aligned with the aspirational goals of 21st century education Kendra Vidyalaya number no. 1 Fort Blair is privileged to host the press conference as part of celebration of third anniversary of national education policy 2020 I J Pazia take this opportunity to welcome all of you on behalf of principal staff and students of Kendra Vidyalaya number no. 1 and number no. 2 and Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya a note of welcome being presented in the form of a welcome song
you. That was a wonderful rendition by the students. I am really a warm welcome extended poetically. All are aware that Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi will inaugurate the second Akhil Bharatiya Shiksha Samagam, which is coinciding with the third anniversary of National Education Policy 2020. On 29 July 2023 at ITPO Pragati Maidan, New Delhi. The two-day event is being organized by the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. The Prime Minister will be launching various initiatives on the occasion. Implementation of National Education Policy 2020 is in full swing in all the schools. Here is a glimpse of it with regard to Jawahar Navodhya Vidyalaya Choldari, Kendra Vidyalaya No. 1 and Kendra Vidyalaya No. 2, Port Blair. First, let's have a look at a video presentation by Jawahar Navodhya Vidyalaya Choldari.
Now I invite Shrimati Shrilata MP, Principal Ma'am Jawahar Navodhi Vidyalaya Choldari to address the gathering on the implementation of National Education Policy 2020. Respected Principal in Charge KV number one, Mr. Chaturvedi, Principal in Charge KV number two, Madam Viji, respected uh, reporters who have assembled here, parents and teachers and students from KV. Good morning to you all. On this fine morning, I'm very happy to be a part of this program. As you all know, KV and JNV jointly is going to organize this small press meet on the occasion of the third anniversary of NEP 2020. And as you are aware, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi is going to inaugurate the Akhil Bharatiya Shiksha Samagam on 29th July at Pragati Maidan, New Delhi. And it so happens that the same day is the third anniversary of NEP 2020. And hence, as a part of this, this press conference is called to create awareness among the public regarding the implementation of NEP 2020 in JNVs and KVs across the country. As per the vision of NEP 2020, especially with regard to the school education system, an education system which is rooted in Indian ethos that contributes directly to transforming India into an equitable and vibrant knowledge society by providing high quality education to all and thereby making India a global knowledge superpower. Then the curriculum and pedagogy of our institutions should develop a sense of respect towards fundamental duties and constitutional values and also our children should have a conscious awareness of their role and responsibilities towards their own country. And in order to instill a deep-rooted pride of being an Indian, not only in thought but also in spirit, in intellect, in deeds, and also to develop knowledge, skills, and values that support commitment to human rights, and sustainable development and living and global well-being and thereby children will become really global citizens and bring out the talent that is inherent and unique to each and every student instead of memorizing now the teaching learning process has become fully activity based 
and there is lot of participation from the learners as well and instead of the rote learning this activity based pedagogy is implemented which involves lot of storytelling methods toy making sports integrated art integrated and what not so in order to bring out the talents that are unique in each and every student nep is being implemented in all the kvs and jnvs across the country and almost all these activities have been going on in kvs and jnvs in the past also and not that it is newly introduced but after the arrival of nep 2020 it has become little more concentrated now regarding navodaya vidyalaya samiti in accordance with the national policy of education 1986 jawahar navodaya vidyalayas were established and according to navodaya vidyalaya scheme there will be one navodaya vidyalaya in every district so at present there are 649 jnvs which are fully functional in 27 states and 8 union territories and these are coeducational residential institutions which are fully financed and administered by the government of india through the autonomous organization which is called navodaya vidyalaya samiti and the vision of navodaya vidyalaya is to provide good quality modern education including a strong component of culture inculcation of values awareness of environment and adventure activities and physical education to the talented children who are predominantly from the rural areas of the districts without any regard for the socio economic status of the children and admission and facilities as you are aware admission in is in jnv is only made through the jawahar navodaya vidyalaya selection test which is conducted for admission to class 6 there is no other mode of selection for students they have to qualify in the national level examination and coming to some of the facilities that are provided to the students which are really free of cost we are providing them free education boarding facilities lodging facilities uniform textbooks stationery items daily use items then travel expenditure by third ac train or ac bus medical expenditure cbsc fees everything is met by the government and in order to ensure the holistic development of students in jnvs we are ensuring that they are having all the facilities which are required for this there are full fledged campuses and jnv choudhary is still in the temporary site so we are not having all the facilities which can be catered to the needs of the children but within one or two years the construction in our permanent site is going to be completed and children will be able to enjoy the full benefits of navodaya vidyalaya system now regarding the implementation of nep 2020 in jnvs some of the important aspects i am going to inform you one is inclusive education that is cwsn children are given equal benefits and facilities and they are taught along with the regular children and they are given provided they are provided with all kinds of facilities for assisting their learning like wheelchair then ramps are constructed then uh, for the uh, special toilets are constructed then tricycle special eye classes all these facilities are provided according to their needs then promoting indian then indianness through the navodaya vidyalaya special prayer and there is yoga community singing and all these will instill in the children a feeling of national integration and on top of that there is a system called migration in class 9 30% of students will migrate from hindi speaking belt to a non hindi speaking belt and vice versa and this is merely for 
the integration feeling of integration understanding the culture of different states then pm shri schools as you all know prime minister has announced the setting up of pm shri schools and i am very happy to inform you that there are 317 jnvs across the country which are selected as pm shri schools then as usual we are conducting so many sports competitions yoga science social science exhibitions olympiads science congresses for the holistic development of the children and science exhibitions are organized by navodit ele samiti in cluster level regional level and national level and the winners will participate in the national level jawaharlal nehru national science maths and environment exhibition which is conducted by ncert then national education day aims to move from rote learning which is traditionally followed in classroom to student centered learning so for this we have to equip the teachers first so lot of training programs are organized for teachers by now the like samiti by cbsc by ncert and they have undergone nishta training and training from diksha platform so many and mathematics teachers are given training through khan academy so many varieties of training programs are conducted for the teachers and in pm e vidya portal and diksha portal you can see lot of contribution made by navodaya teachers even the submission of application for the entrance examination is fully online and the results are also published online everybody can see through the website and even the purchase of goods for the school is through the government e marketplace and also the payments are made directly to the bank accounts of the suppliers through the public finance management system so all these indicate that everything is going on in a transparent manner then integration of cultural component that is by stressing third language in navodaya vidyalaya three languages are compulsory english is there hindi is there and the regional language here in andaman in all the three schools we are following tamil as the regional language and if we <coughs> proposes at least two to three languages but the system of three languages has started right from 1986 when navodaya was established again skill courses are introduced in jnvs and on this year samiti is going to take up automotive vocation skills for students in collaboration with tata motors and netu technical foundation and skill labs are also established with the collaboration of cbsc and cbsc has already identified nine jnvs for this and 30 more to be added for this this year other than that now the vidyalaya samiti has established skill labs in 45 jnps then under pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana skill hub initiative is taken up and there are many schools in this where training is provided to the youth of the country who are coming from outside after the school hours the training is provided to the outside people again for developing scientific temper and creative thinking we have set up astronomy labs there are 20 jnvs where astronomy labs are set up and selected students are given chance to visit higher education institutes like iits iams etc and another flagship program is vigyan jyoti by the department of science and technology and for this implementation there are 300 jnv is identified and under this vigyan jyoti program girls students are given specialized training in science and scientific knowledge then atal tinkering labs as you know for ensuring the creativity of the children there are 121 jnvs where atal tinkering labs have been established and also for creating awareness among the students for protection of environment we conduct so many swachhata activities and each one plant one such drives are also taken up then parents are also involved in the day to day functioning of the jnvs every month 
we have the parent teacher council meeting where the parents are able to uh, in, uh, discuss their problems and understand the academic and holistic development of their students there are so many achievements which navodaya students across the country have made during last one year it is listed there 33 students have secured admission for higher education under pestalozzi scholarship and they are studying in uk then one computer science teacher has secured national award for teachers one student is selected for the national level, level inspire manak award then bal puraskar two nvs students have secured bal puraskar award which was awarded by pradhan mantri rashtriya bal puraskar 2022 one is for innovation and another one is for social service then two one student has secured a second position in kala utsav which is conducted by the ministry of education and two students were have got prizes for the veer gatha edition 2 which is conducted by cbse three teams of nvs secured second position in their respective states in the final round of fit india quiz conducted last time and nvs team of secondary level girls they have secured second position in ncert national yoga olympiad one student represented bimstech quiz competition held in bhutan and secured third position eight students qualified in indian olympiad qualifier mathematics examination and they are selected for national level four students participated in national level rashtriya bal vaigyanik pradarshani which was organized by ncert 84 students were recognized by department of science and technology under inspire manak scheme then 32 students participated in the national level children science congress which was conducted in gujarat so these are some of the national level achievements secured by navodaya vidyalayas now in the similar way kendriya vidyalayas also they have already displayed the activities and they are also equally competent and they are also conducting all these activ- activities for the students so i am very happy that i could get an opportunity to tell you share with you all the process that we are following in navodaya vidyalaya system thank you thank you ma'am for showing light upon the implementation of national education policy 2020 now over to press thank you अगर आप लोगों को एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी के बारे में अगर कोई क्वेश्चन हो कर रही हो तो रेज कर सकते
एक्सपेरिमेंट वीडियो विजुअलाइजेशन एंड बहुत तरह के खेल कूद की मदद से भी हमें बताया जाता है कि जो बुक में लिखा है उसके रियल लाइफ कैसे इंप्लीमेंट करें कैसे वो यूज आता है तो एक टीचर्स जो भी टीचर्स के लिए बहुत इजी हो गया टू अंडरस्टैंड टू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन व्हाट आई थिंक इज इन द बुक सो इट्स लाइक कन्वर्टिंग इनटू रियल लाइफ जो हमारे स्कूल में अभी ए आई स्किल बेस्ड लर्निंग हुआ है उससे वो जो ए आई है वो भी फ्यूचर जनरेशन के लिए बहुत यूजफुल है जैसे कि अभी एनॉमस ने टेस्ला बनाया है उसमें जो सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार्स है वो ए आई बेस्ड है और वो सेंसर्स यूज करके पता कर सकते हैं कि कब रुकना है कब चलना है तो अभी जो फ्यूचर है वो ए है और हमारे स्कूल में वो इम्प्लीमेंट हो चुका है जिससे कि हम बहुत कुछ सीख रहे हैं अभी भी और अभी भी हमें कोडिंग फाइनेंस वो सब सिखाया जा रहा है जिससे कि हम फ्यूचर में और कुछ अच्छा कर सकते हैं और हमारे लिए वो सब इजी रहे थैंक यू हमारे देश के विद्यार्थियों के जीवन में कई सारा बदलाव आया हुआ है ये सिर्फ ऐसा नहीं कि ये पॉलिसी है इससे बच्चों को पढ़ाई में काफी मदद मिली है पहले तो बच्चों को सिर्फ पढ़ाई रखना किताबों के माध्यम से परंतु अब बच्चों को टेक्नोलॉजी के माध्यम से पढ़ाया जाता है हर एक चीज को वर्चुअली उन्हें विजुअलाइज किया जाता है ताकि उन्हें अच्छे से हर एक चीज को समझ में आए टीचर्स उन्हें कई सारे एक्टिविटीज कराते हैं जिससे उन्हें हर एक चीज का अच्छे से समझ में आए उन्हें रियल लाइफ में कैसे वो इम्प्लीमेंट कर सके उन्हें इस बारे में पता चले हमें कई सारे खेलों के माध्यम से भी समझाया जाता है थैंक यू कल हमारे एनिवर्सरी है तो थर्टी परसेंट नहीं कल ले बाल बाटी का कल मोदी का प्रोग्राम कितने बजे है आपको आइडिया है नहीं टाइम इंट्रोडक्शन and uh, now i take this opportunity to thank uh, 
Honorable Principal of Jawar Mahodya Vidyalaya. Madam, thank you for being here with us. Madam had been with us right from the beginning to coordination, helping us with coordination and the entire program went up with her support. I also take this opportunity to thank uh, Principal in Charge of KV No. 2, Viji Ma, for her valuable presence here. And uh, last, uh, I should thank our in charge principal, Alok Chakravedi sir, for all the cooperation he had extended to make this program. I should be, I'll be failing in my duty if I don't thank the press, the media people who are present, uh, who are present here. Thanks to all of you for being here and participating in this and uh, raising questions and issues regarding this. I should not fail to take the name of the parents who were a part of this program because your ideas, it is a motivation and encouragement for us. Without your support, definitely education system is incomplete. And the children who presented their ideas, because they are our future, they are the upcoming generation. Their ideas are really valued here. The way they had come out with their thoughts is really influencing. And uh, thanks to the children who were here and thanks to all of you who were present here uh, during this program. To each and everyone who cooperated uh, with us. Thanks to one and all. We will wind up the program with National Anthem. So may I request all of you to kindly stand for National Anthem. जुड़ी सभी छोटी बड़ी खबरें देखने के लिए हमारे अपने न्यूज आज तक यूट्यूब चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकॉन प्रेस करना ना भूलें हमारा अपना न्यूज आज तक अब सच देखेगा अंदमान